Hello everyone, in this session we will discuss about subroutines. Now what is subroutine? A subroutine is a set of common instructions which can be used repeatedly into our program. That means if we are supposed to execute a set of code which is going to be called many a times into a single program then we would be right instead of writing them repeatedly we would be writing it as a one separate piece of code and we would be calling it every time when we need it. So that is a subroutine. So set of common instructions that can be used in a program many times is called subroutine. Now basically a subroutine is the is called into the main part of program that means if I take an example in our C programming language what we are doing is we write a program for factorial so in that case we make a common function factorial and that function factorial we would be calling it into, into our main program by passing the argument as the value of which we want to find the factorial. So similarly that is nothing but functions in case of C language that are terms as subroutines in case of programming language only the difference lies is a function can return a value but a subroutine cannot return any value. Over here subroutines are the piece of code which can be executed many a times into our primary program and after the subroutine is executed it comes back to the main program that means the main program the primary program will jump to the subroutine subroutine execution gets over and again it comes back to the main program so a subroutine consists of self-contained statements that means that is nothing but our normal statements which we write it into the language there they are a set of instructions which carries out some specific task so that are subroutines. Let us see an example of subroutine. This is our main program, a primary program and this is our subroutine. Now how this will work? Now to execute a subroutine we require one specific instruction that is BSA that is branch and save written address. Now as you can see in this program, in the primary program, the primary program we are loading the content of X to the accumulator by LDA instruction. Then later on we are writing BSA instruction. What it performs? BSA instruction will jump to the address SH4. But before jumping it will save the return address at this SH4. That means SH4 is over here. So at this address location 109 it will save the return address. And what is the return address? The return address is 102 so this 102 would be saved over here like this. So when we jump over here return address is stored over here and it will start its execution in normal sequence that is CIL, 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 CIL. Four times CIL would be executed then ending operation will take place then this BUN, we had studied BSA instruction, in that case there is always one BUN instruction that is branch unconditionally written at the last of subroutine and we need to jump it to the address that is SH4 over here but the instruction is indirect. That means indirect means we need not to jump at SH4, we need to jump at the address stored in SH4. So what SH4 stores? 102 so we would be after completing this execution we would be jumping back to the return address that is stax so this is how subroutine is called executed and written back now again moving further we have written bsa sh4 once again as you can see over here bsa 10 sh4 so it again jumps over here Again return address 105 will be stored over here then again this uh, B uh, subroutine would be executed then BUN indirect that is SH4 over here the address would be 105 and again it comes back to the address 105 and our program is halting. So this is how subroutine works. Now at this moment we are not concerned about what output this program will give but this is the working of subroutine. So we can use certain piece of code repeatedly into our primary program as in this case we had used two times. This is first time and this is the second time. So this is the working of subroutines.